right guys we are leaving Travis's man Bertha sounds so much better she's so much quieter she's never been turn this left onto quarter horse amazing. road then turn left onto Juniper Cove Road I'm really excited because those exhaust leaks were so bad proceed to the route it was so loud in here that it was obnoxious in 450 nice feet now. turn left onto Juniper it. Cove Road it's never been like this going to head out to Still Creek maybe for a day maybe two days it's free 14 day camping out there that's where Travis and I have been fishing the last couple of days well actually we didn't go yesterday but the day before that and day before that we actually went out and fished caught a little sand bass but uh, I think I'm going to go out there there's no I had no cell service here at Trav's so no internet anything so I couldn't do any YouTube videos I couldn't do anything so I'm gonna go out there because when we were out there on the boat, I had good cell service. So I'm hoping I can use my phone as a hotspot, get a little editing done, just kind of chill, decompress from all the work we've done on Bertha and have a day or two of camping and then I'm gonna head west, eventually making my way back to Los Angeles. Almost to Still Creek, about a mile and a half. We'll be pulling into Still Creek. There's no BLM, BLM land in Texas, but some of the lakes do have some free camping. So I'm by Lake Whitney, pulling into, going to be pulling into Still Creek where we can do some free camping. into Still Creek Park there was a deer right here yesterday day before when Travis and I came by there was a deer right here just grazing which is pretty cool I think this is a camp host Ronnie which is a friend of Travis's I don't see anybody out we'll go ahead and go on in and we are in Still Creek Park so let's go find a camping spot Creek Park. We'll find one. Alright, I think this is going to be the one. It's not as straight as some of them were, but no neighbors. It's the weekend, so a lot of people out here now. Like I said, it's free camping, so get back in here. Definitely probably have to level up. But that's okay. Alright. 
the evening sun is setting over here to my right, your left, I believe, that way out the window. So if I move forward, you can see all the lines from the blinds, but I can move back because I have the door open and it blocks a little bit. So anyway, I want to get a shout out, give a shout out, get a sh give a shout out to Brian at Adventure Van Man because he really has ins he has inspired me watching his videos. I'm going to link his channel down below for those of you that don't know his channel or have seen him. He is a van dweller, lives just in a van, and he has inspired me to cook more for myself uh, and not be so lazy because he doesn't have like a regular refrigerator and a camper van like I do, and he cooks for himself all the time. So uh, the stuff he cooks is very simple stuff, which led me to believe I could start making some simple stuff, even though I'm not a cook, far from it. I usually used to just eat out on a continuous basis but I've started to actually cook for myself since the first of the year because that was one of my New Year's resolutions. So <clears throat> I'm glad to report I'm still making some decent little things that are pretty appetizing and I get more ideas and more ideas from Brian by watching his videos. So thanks Brian for inspiring me to actually cook some stuff for myself and not just eating fast food all the time, especially when you're out here camping you have to come up with something and TV dinners and those things get old quick. So thanks, Brian. Love your channel. Really enjoy your stuff. All right, those were super simple to make. Let's try them and see how they taste. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Remember, if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys, all of you new subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it. And remember, if you can't be good, at least be good at it. Bye guys.